The internet allows us to do all sorts of things. Shop, buy tickets, share pictures, also kick some cyborg butt. Joining us live from LA is Adam Sessler, the host of X-Play on G4 TV. Hey, Adam, how are yes. you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Before we get started with Get Your Game On, let's get the ground rules straight. M-M-O. Okay. M -O. Massively M -M -O. multiplayer online, online. games? Is that games. included? Well, okay. Yes. Well, also, you can have three other letters following called RPG. That stands for role playing game. And so, MMMO RPG pretty much makes up the standard massively multiplayer game out there. But you'll just let me say MMO. That's cool with you. MMO just fine because we only have a little bit of time, don't we? All right. So, let's get started. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the first game right now. Our MMO that we're going to talk about is Age of Conan. This is one of these new games that's out doing pretty, pretty good. Yeah, I really am enjoying this. Um, this is distinct from a lot of the other MMOs because the combat in it is what we, we would term real time. You hit a button and you immediately see an effect, whereas in some other games, you're limited by how frequently you can sort of attack another opponent or an enemy or a creature. Um, and by that, it's a far more visceral experience. It can be a lot more satisfying for gamers like me who are used to hitting buttons on their Xbox and expect to see a sword slash. Um, also, the environment of it is really compelling because it's not the high fantasy, the stuff that seems to be based on J.R.R. Tolkien, it's more of the low fantasy we expect from Conan. It is also a far more mature game. You can end up beheading enemies uh, quite frequently. And there's a level of uh, lack of outfits that uh, show you know certain naughty parts you don't find oh. in many games out there. Well, <laughs> well then. Um, well, I was re researching this so I could really impress you. Um, I saw the director come out and say that this was like wine and steak versus McDonald's for everything else. He was very uh, into his game. Yes, very much so. Uh, it is worth noting the game, in essence, hasn't been finished yet. Uh, you can completely play the game, but it was supposed to have certain components to make it look better than it currently does that we hope to see in November. So it was definitely a very bold statement from someone who actually has released an unfinished title. Ah. What he's really referring to is the fact that the the game, like like World of Warcraft, one of the most famous games out there, that this uh, that's kind of the gold standard. That's your McDonald's, and this is something a little bit more refined. I think he's being he's overselling it a little bit, but for me and for a lot of people. That have been put off by the nature of some of the other games out there. This does offer up something very, very fresh and very new. Okay, so what about Warhammer? I saw my girl uh, Morgan. She did an interview with these guys. Yes. Um, yeah. She was saying that they took out all the boring stuff. What's the boring stuff in these MMOs? The boring stuff, there's a term called grinding that when you have a role playing game, this is based upon gaining experience by doing quests, by killing enemies. When you get a certain amount of experience, you're able to improve your character. We call it leveling up. You can, you know, sort of make them stronger, give them new powers. And that's really what's at the core of these games. You want to make your character bigger and better and more unique, and you have to do that by experience. Grinding is a rather humdrum way of getting that experience. I have to go kill that guy. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to keep banging something on the head until it's finally dead. I can get my points. This tries to make the experience of leveling up something more integral to the game, so you feel a little bit more involved and not sort of wasting your time to get to the good parts. And they seem to be doing a very good job. It's worth noting, the game has not come out yet. It's should be coming out very, very soon. And while it looks similar to a lot of other games out there, it really does find clever ways to make you interact with other players and to really go on experiences that feel fun right from the get-go and not, say, 20 hours into the title. Yeah, so focusing on the game part. Okay, good. A little sneak peek. But World of Warcraft, you talked about that a couple of seconds ago as being the McDonald's of the MMOs. I, I think there's, what, a 62% of the MMO community on this game, yes. 16 million people. This is huge. This is an oldie but a goodie, right? Yeah, the the amount of money that this game is making is kind of astronomical. I believe uh, Gabe Newell, who works for a different game company, pointed out that every month they're generating the revenue that Iron Man did in its first month. Yeah. And that happens, that's been happening now for several years now, so it's really that impressive. Um, what they did with this game is they took something that had been established by some older games and just kind of refined it. They made it look really interesting. As you can see, it has a more stylized look than what you would expect from a fantasy game. And in addition to that, they made it very accessible so more people out there could play it. Up until this point, a lot of PC games kind of assumed that you knew more than the game was going to teach you about it, you know, how to enjoy the game. And this made it very accessible, and it's just very addictive. This is that game you hear about where people like lose their marriages, they drop dead at their computers because like, they haven't eaten for 72 yeah, drop hours. Out of this their is the one. Schools lose their jobs. <laughs> exactly. Watch but too it, much it of us a, online, stuff like that. Exactly. All right. It, 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 it's a lot of fun, though. I, 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 I don't want to you know, discount that aspect because obviously its popularity means something. Okay, so we got a little sneak peek of Warhammer. Let's get a little sneak peek of Ultima Online. This is another newbie. 
Actually, it isn't a new game. I, I decided to throw this one in the mix because this is where it all comes from. This is kind of the origin story for the massively multiplayer online game. This came out ooh, over 10 years ago, and it really was the first opportunity for people to interact in a massive setting with one another and play these role-playing games. Obviously, it looks far more sort of archaic than the mini games out there, um, but back then, it was revolutionary, and it really set the stage for all these other games to come. So for anyone out there that's been sort of had their interest peaked by these MMOs, this is where it all comes from, and you need to thank a man named Richard Garriott, who lives out in Texas, for even opening up the possibility of playing games this way. Well, thank you, Richard, because it's new, not to everybody, but it's new to me, and so are you, Adam Sessler, a host of X-Play on G4 TV. Hey, Adam, thanks so much for getting your game oh, on with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. It. My pleasure.